Well, good morning to Thursday morning's encouragement. It's a little overcast, a little warm outside, but it's great to be here. And, and uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. And, and rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, a couple Saturdays ago, my wife Terry and I were going so we were going to, a few days before that, we were going to ride down and go walk on the beach. Uh, just kind of walk on the beach and, and enjoy our time together. But it was a cold, windy, rainy Saturday. <laughs> and so we decided to uh, delay those plans. Um, as many of you ha um, have heard me say, in the past, I grew up on the uh, southeast and southeastern coast of North Carolina, um, right off uh, Wilmington. Uh, lived almost my whole life that I can remember in, in a couple of the beach communities down there, mainly a place called Reisel Beach. And then we write last few years where I went off to college around Fort Fisher. But, so I, I spent a lot of time down by the ocean and in the sand. And I can remember, uh, you know, whether it was a hurricane or, a, you know, one of the extreme tide changes or a big northeastern that we would get in the uh, wintertime or in the fall, you would just see how it would impact the, um, the erosion and how it would impact the shifting sand. And I can remember I've seen where parts of a pier, we had fishing piers would, would come down to big waves. And, and, and I've seen where I remember one time I was a, teen, a young teenager and there was a big storm and it, wasn't a, it was a, like a northeastern. And we were watching as the, the waves were beating against and washing sand away against this, uh, uh, the front of this house that was built right on the um, ocean and it pushed the rocks away, these big rocks. And I remember the watching, standing there watching um, from a distance uh, that how the front of this house just fell into the ocean. And I remember there was a piano in this house. I still to this day have this memory. This piano, as the front of the house went into the ocean, the piano went into the ocean as well. Um, as we have seen and living here near the coast the power the power of waves and wind and uh and when things aren't built on a good foundation and the house sands can be shifting i've got a little thing here uh a little jar in the sign which you probably can't see it says mark's private beach and in this jar is sand and there's some seashells and some coral uh when i was um in the early 80s when I met my wife and we were, I was stationed in Southwest Oklahoma, a place called Altus, a long way from the beach. I was really missing the beach. And she, uh, she got me this little jar and when I, one of my trips home, I put, got some, brought some sand back and, and uh, she, that's when she said, I can always remember the beach and it's sand. And, and since that time, we've collected some sand from different places that we've been in the world <laughs> and a few different shells. And uh, something I, I'm surprised is, is, is survived all the moves and everything, but it's a reminder of me of uh, some of the past and uh, uh, my past and our past with a family. It probably would be more important that if I, instead of sand I had in there, I had a big rock because the rock, that foundation, it doesn't move. It's always there. No matter what wind or what storms come, it is always there. In Matthew, the uh, seventh chapter, Jesus is talking about that. And he says in the 24th verse, he says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine, put them into practice. It's like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came, the streams rose, and the winds blew, and they beat against the house. Yet it did not fall because it had a foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears the words of mine does not put them into practice. It's like a foolish man who has built his house on the sand. And the rain came down and the storm streams rose and the winds blew and beat against the house. And it fell in with a great crash. Well, we know that God is, through Jesus Christ, has given us that rock, that foundation, that hope that grace, that mercy, the unconditional love that we have in life, no matter what storms blow our way. Um, I, I have seen, as I mentioned before, I've seen houses 
your hurricanes just take houses and they're no longer there, just nothing standing there, as you've probably seen. And especially we think back to uh, Hurricane Hugo uh, here in the Charleston area and how it even decimated even right up into, um, into Somerville and on up into Columbia and on up. And that was through the wind, but even the, but even the rain and the water. I thank the Lord, no matter what comes at us, no matter how many things this world throws at us, we've got him to stand on. As we're about to go into Holy Week, you know, this is what, this is the hope that we have as we remember during this coming week, what he did, how much God loved us, that he sent his son to die on a cross and rise again, that we would have hope and we would have the a firm foundation in John 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and He was God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made without, without Him. Nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that light, life was light of men, a light, light that shines in the darkness, but darkness has not understood it. God became, sent His Son, divinity in the flesh. I want to quote to you a, a verse of a song that many of you know, and it's called Standing on the Promises. Standing on the promises that cannot fail when the howling storms of doubt and fear assail. By the living word of God, I shall prevail. Standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises of God. I pray that a uh, that we will stand on the promises to know that Jesus Christ is our foundation. He is there for us. May God bless you and keep you safe. And thank you for tuning in. Amen.